Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, and living the greener lifestyle. I'm Ted Brunson. With energy costs on the rise, we are constantly looking for new ways to live more efficient and sustainable lives. From the way we take care of our lawn to building our homes, everything we do affects the environment. So the goal here is to treat the environment as a major contributor to our health, economy, and general well-being. We have a great lineup of topics to help you and your family live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So let's get started right now and think green. A major part of making any home more energy efficient are the materials used to construct it. Now we here at Think Green are always looking for innovative new technologies that help homes be more eco-friendly. Today we're going to take a look at a very important component of a home with our friends at Apex Block. Now pay attention to this segment because you're going to be seeing a lot more from these people and their new materials that make your home more efficient and sustainable, thus greener. This isn't a typical housing subdivision, and this isn't a typical construction site. Here in the gently rolling hills of Eagle Point in Southern Oregon, 21 homes will be constructed of Apex Block, a lightweight insulated building block that's called the greenest wall system in the world. Naturally, Designing Spaces Think Green had to come out and have a look. Dale Scenes is CEO and president of the company, which has made Apex blocks since 2003 out of recycled EPS, or polystyrene foam. The stuff that's often used for packing and shipping. It's non-biodegradable, and a lot of it winds up in landfills. In fact, only about 12% of it is recycled in the U.S. By building this home with Apex blocks, about 2,500 pounds of polystyrene will be put to good use instead of being thrown in the trash. The reason for Apex Block and my involvement with it is I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to help in my part and my way, and that's taking EPS out of the environment, reducing energy costs. Over the lifespan of a building, a family gets to save money, they get some financial relief, and they have the benefit of having the best sound structure around them to keep them safe and warm, and that to hand that down and perpetuate that through generations. When this home is finished, its owner will have a sturdy, environmentally friendly place to live. Apex Block provides excellent insulation and can cut the homeowner's heating and cooling expenses in half versus a home built with conventional wood materials. The reason why the Apex Block is so safe is what we've done is we've replaced what Mother Nature naturally built, which, was, which is wood. Wood and lumber have had its place in, in American building in its history. But what we have are six inch tubes of concrete, reinforced concrete with rebar. So what you have is an integrated structure. There's just not vertical wood, there's a horizontal and vertical grid system of six inches of concrete reinforced with rebar, which also with the roof system is a continuous pour. So from the foundation and the footing, all the way from the slab, all the way to the roof, is one continuous interlocking piece of concrete reinforced with steel. The blocks can't rot or form mold and mildew because they don't absorb or retain moisture. And these walls are much more quiet than standard wood frame walls. They're also strong, protecting the home against floods, fire, high winds, earthquakes, and infestation from rats, termites, and other insects. This wall system will protect against F5 tornadoes or level four hurricanes. What that means is 250 mile an hour sustained winds or gusting winds. We've tested this block and it withstood up to four hours of 2000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. For four hours, wood ignites in 12 seconds. So what you have is a very safe, comfortable home for you and your family. Apex even demonstrated this by trying to blow up a wall with C4 explosives. Nope, still standing. Well, we'd like to think nothing like this will ever happen here in peaceful Eagle Point.
For contractors, using Apex blocks can be a great choice. For one thing, they simplify the construction process when compared to other green building methods. Doug Lystra is the owner of Majestic Builders, which is building this home in Eagle Point. The biggest thing that sold me from the first time I saw this, 80% um, 80, 80 of this is recycled material, saves it from going in the landfill. This, this is way ahead of its time right now, and I, I think I know our subdivision here, uh, I'd like to see every one of our houses be in this product. That's our plan right now. Unlike other insulated concrete forms or concrete blocks, Apex block fits together in a trademarked keystone interlocking system, which eliminates the time and cost of expensive bracing and connection methods. The result is a block that costs about $5 or less per square foot. Another difference is that Apex forms can be flat, waffle grid, or screen grid designs, so there's plenty of design flexibility. As you can see, these walls are going up quickly. In fact, experienced workers can build up to 2,500 square feet per day. One thing's for sure, homeowners in this new subdivision will feel good knowing that these walls are as green as the beautiful trees surrounding them. We want a better awareness of alternative building systems versus traditional wood construction. There's a better way to build. There's a better way for the environment. And we have to be conscientious of it and take ourselves further and further ahead. For more information, check out their website at apexblock.com. We all want clean water and a healthier ecosystem. We also want to find ways to lower our cost of living while maintaining efficient households. The technologies are here now, and they're improving our lifestyles and the environment. Let's keep moving in the right direction towards a healthier world. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.